Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this video is about custodian guards and representing them through an army list. In the future, when I get around to making some custodian guard, I'll do videos on converting them up and painting them. But, I haven't done that yet. So, army list wise. Now, we're not going to build an army list or anything like that, but we're going to talk about, or I'm going to talk about, my opinions on what squads can best represent the different type of custodian guard infantry. So let's jump right to it. This is for representing a pure guard, uh, custodian guard uh, army. So everything, squads, vehicles, and whatnot, are going to be converted up and painted appropriately to represent the custodian guard. So that's what we're going to do here, in essence. What you're going to need is a space ring codex as the parent codex. Pretty much your compulsory choices of stuff you need to take for an army will be taken out of this codex, because you have to. Um, and the Demon Hunters Codex is the Allied Codex. We're gonna follow the rules, obviously, for taking allies, so no heavy support. But, uh, we're pretty much doing this to have access to the Grey Knights. And pretty much the Grey Knights and Power Armor. And that's pretty much all we want out of this Codex. So, keep that in mind. Um, so let's jump right to it. There's five varieties, I believe, of, um, Custodian Guard. And first up is the most iconic of the Custodian Guard, and that's the one we, uh, with the big caliber type of weapon. What we think of when we think Custodian Guard and the battle armor is, is these guys. And, um, essentially, like all Custodian Guard, they're gold and armored. And their helmet, bits-wise, think of the High Elf Warrior helmet. That's the type of helmet they have, look-wise, with a top knot on top of it that's red. And um, their weapon is essentially a spear or a halibird type of weapon. And um, on top of it is an integrated range weapon. This is called the Guardian Spear. So, you would use granites and power armor. Essentially, this is the whole reason why we had the Demon Hunters Codex at all, is for these guys. Um, to represent them, you'd use the Granites and Power Armor. You'd get their special rules, which work very well to represent the purity of purpose and the strength of mind of the, uh, of the Custodian Guard. You get the Grey Knight's stat line, which is also good, and you get their war gear. The Nemesis Force weapon to represent their spear, and the Storm Bolter can be, can be represented by that weapon on top of it, the ranged weapon. So that's the uh, Custodian Guard with the Guardian Spears. Easily enough, I guess. And uh, you could use like the Honor Guard from the Space Room Squad. I'm not going to get into that because they're not a troop choice. The Custodian Guard and Power Armor are, so they can claim objectives. And they're also a bit cheaper, which is good. Points-wise, I mean. Um, up next is Custodian Guard on Jet Bikes. Now, we don't have Jet Bikes in the Imperium anymore as squads. So, we'd use a regular Space Marine Bike Squad to represent them. Just convert it up, obviously. Armor-wise, the guys riding the bikes have the same armor on as they do as the Custodian Guard with the Guardian Spears do. Same golden armor type of design, same helmet with the red top knot on it. Up next is what I call the Shield Bearers, because um, they have a sword and shield. All the stuff I'm, I'm getting, by the way, is from this the, the art book, the um, Collective Visions, I think it's called. There's a bunch of Custodian Guard art in there, and I think one of those art had on the, uh, the text underneath it for saying which card it came from, or something like Shield Bearers or something, which is where I got the name. But uh, essentially, they have a sword and shield. They're kind of there. Um, in some of the arts, but anyway, same armor, same helmet of the golden helmet with the red top knot on top of it. <clears throat> They're equipped with a sword and a shield. So, a good way to represent these guys, the easiest way is Vanguard Veterans with Storm Shield and Power Weapon. You could, um, equip the Command Squad appropriately and represent them that way, but, um, it's just easier and probably a little bit more effective to represent these guys as Vanguard Veterans without jump packs. Now, I don't remember exactly 100%, but in the Tales of Heresy book, there, which is a collection of short stories, there was a Custodian Guard short story. And I think they mentioned the use of jump packs in there. I don't remember 100%, 
But should that be true, you could then use jump pack means if you wanted to, but um, to be 100% fluff accurate, but I don't know offhand. So just keep the Vanguard veterans without jump packs for now. Um, anyways, Vanguard veterans, no jump packs, dome shield, and power weapon could represent the shield bearers. Up next, we have what I call custodian tactical squads because they pretty much have the same equipment as space marine tactical squads. They got a bolter. Um, power weapons, power fist, special weapons. Their special weapons look a little different, but that's fine. Um, uh, Unit-wise, you use a Space Marine Tactical Squad to represent them, or a Space Marine Storm Guard Squad, even Devastator, and stuff like that. And you can also use these guys to represent a Command Squad. Um, just because it's easier that way. So, that's pretty easy. Just use a Tactical Squad in your set for those guys. Armor wise, they're golden armored and their helmet is different. They have a sp essentially Space Marine battle helmets on, painted black. Uh, they're appropriate helmet type for the, the time period of the Great Crusade slash Horse Heresy, but uh, Space Marine black helmets essentially on gold armor. Um, lastly, we have the Custodian Guard and Terminator armor. and. They're golden armored with either black helmets or golden helmets, up to you really. Um, either way, you can represent them either with Space Marine Terminator squads slash Space Marine Terminator Assault squads or Grey Knight Terminator squads. It really depends how many points you want to spend and which special rules and war gear you want. Either way, it will, will work fine. And that's it really. As far as HQs go, you can use a regular captain. Uh, generic captain entry and represent either um, a custodian guard with a guardian spirit type of guy or a custodial marine I guess I'll call it with the black battle helmet and equipped how you want. Uh, you can also use the, the uh, generic chapter master uh, profile and, and um, section to represent Constantine Valdor who is the chief custodian of the custodian guard and he has essentially a guardian spirit type of weapon so you would, need, you would represent it that way. Um, as far as special characters go, some people who like to use special characters you could do accounts as as long as you make it appropriate, uh, not appropriate but clear what, who you're representing. But uh, you could do that if you wanted to, it's not necessary at all but you could. I'm a bigger fan for the custodian guard using, using the generic captain or the generic chapter master entry. You could also use a chaplain if you really wanted to, but um, that's neither here nor there. So that's pretty much it for representing them. I will say here and now that if you do want to do this, um, and you do paint up some vehicles, their primary color on their vehicles is red. Now the custodian is still primarily golden in color, but their tanks are red in color primarily with some gold trim and highlights. Just giving any people fair warning about that now in case anybody was interested in doing this but didn't have reference material, so to speak. Easily available at the very least. And as far as vehicles go, considering that these guys were in their battle armor and fighting during the, the Horse Heresy for the most part, in, their, in large numbers, you would have access to tech from around that time. So you'd have the basic Land Raider, the Predator, you could have a Vindicator at this time, they did kind of come essentially at the end of the Great Crusade, um, and a Rhino. You really wouldn't have a Razorback, but of course, it's your army, you're painting it up and converting it up, and do whatever the hell you want to it, as far as vehicles go. But um, that's if you want to try and stay more accurate towards the time period. So that's pretty much it. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, hope that gave some inspiration for, for people who, th who were thinking about maybe the custodian guard but he didn't know how to best represent them i feel this is the best way in my opinion to represent them and there are other guys on the internet that essentially talk about it in a similar way uh feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section or send me a pm and i'll do my best to answer them and um until next time take it easy